What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming, and I'm back with a new Nintendo 64 video game review for you. In this week's episode, I'm going to take a look at Mike Piazza Strike Zone for the Nintendo 64. This game was developed by Devil's Thumb Entertainment and published by GT Interactive with a North American release date of June 16th, 1998. Mike Piazza's Strike Zone is based off the 1998 baseball season, with Mike Piazza lending his name, likeness, and also endorsement to the baseball game. In this game, you can play a single player game, a season, a World Series, an All Star game, a home run derby, or two player versus. Now, however, to play the home of the World Series or season, or to be able to save any of your progress in this game, you will need a controller pack. And unfortunately, to start off, it takes a whopping 163 pages. So, you need a fresh controller pack for this one. One highlight of this game is the ability that you can customize the jerseys as well as make your own logos for your games in the season. Sadly, that's about the most positivity that I can honestly say for this game. Right away, you'll notice from this gameplay here, the background and just details of this game is just awful. It just looks so bland and grainy like sandpaper. Also, what in the world is with this frame rate? It's like... It looks like you're looking at everything through some kind of, you know, quicksand. But, enough about the frame rate of the background. Because in order for it to have a good baseball game, you need to have good fielding, hitting, and have, you know, especially if you want that classic arcade style baseball game. So, unfortunately, when you try this one, pitching just makes absolutely no sense. It's so difficult to get any true precision for where you're trying to pitch the ball or what pitches you're trying to make. And hitting takes quite a long time to get used to. However, I will say one little caveat here about the hitting is that when the pitcher's throwing the ball, and you'll see from this gameplay here as well, when the ball is red, that means it's a strike. So if you can line it up perfectly, you can get a good contact hit. If it's blue, it's like a blue tail almost, then that means that that ball is a ball. And if it's green, then that means it's borderline. So that at least helps you a little bit to try to determine you know, where the ball is and where it's going. But again, it takes quite a long time to sit there and decipher where exactly you're trying to pitch or when you're batting, where the ball is going to go. Especially when you're trying to have this, you know, classic arcade style mode. However, this is an option in the options menu to which you can set it to just be arcade mode instead of simulation. So, if that's something that you prefer, you could do that instead. Now, next, I want to touch on the music and sound effects in this game. Unfortunately, neither of them really truly leave anything to be desired. I won't say that the music's truly bad but it's it's not good either it's just honestly most of the time that i play this one i just find myself turning it off it it gets old very quickly sound effects wise it is kind of cool to hear the announcer say strike and ball and everything else but hearing the other effects in this game they get to be a little bit tiresome and repetitive quite quickly if there's any silver lining in all this at least the crowd noise is nice, depending on the stadium that you're playing. As I said at the start of this review, it's based off the 1998 baseball season. So, of course, all of that season's rosters and players and everything are here. But, unfortunately, with just how grainy everything, pixelated everything and looks in this game, it's impossible to tell is like, you know, is that really supposed to be a red or some of the other Bronx Bombers in this game, it's impossible to tell. I can't tell. They all just look the same. 
So finally, to wrap this one up, is Mike Piazza Strike Zone with picking up and adding to your collection today? To be totally honest, unless you can find this one for dirt cheap as part of a lot, I just stay, or you're a hardcore collector, all in all, I just stay away. There's so much better baseball games than the Nintendo 64, and this one's just not worth your time. Like I said, it just has too many flaws. It's too grainy. The frame rate's horrible. Hitting and pitching is, you know, challenging, to put it nicely. Avoid this game. If you want to play an awesome arcade-style baseball game, I'd stick to Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.